Okay, I'm gonna give you all a couple of minutes to pop on. And we're gonna do this again from start to finish. So I'm gonna give you just a couple of minutes. Oh, hey, there's four people in here with me. Uh, okay, so um, just a couple more minutes. Uh, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw earlier that I did a whole, hey Billy, now you get to see the whole thing. <laughs> So I did the whole video earlier. I put on my moisturizer. I did everything all the way from start to finish and kept thinking, man, there's nobody in here with me. I just don't even, I just feel like I'm not even loved. And then come to find out I hit finish at the end and it said the live video needed to be four seconds. So I did the whole thing and it was not live. So now it'll be live. So I'm going to take my glasses off and at which point I won't be able to see y'all, but we're gonna start with our limelight skin therapist and um, this stuff is amazing it's not heavy it's not greasy and I actually put I've already put it on after I got out of the bathtub and washed my face but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on again so I put it all over I put it on my eyelids on my eyebrows under on my forehead put it all over and this just I don't know, um, I guess when I was 20, I didn't have this issue, but if you don't put your makeup on very moisturized skin, you are not going to have a very good finish. It's gonna be splotchy, it's going to be uneven, it's gonna settle in those fine lines and wrinkles, and so we don't want that. We want our makeup to be very flawless and um, photo finish. So again, this is the Limelight Skin therapist and it is awesome stuff so we're gonna let that sit for just a minute let it dry I don't know who all's in here with me um, I, I still can't believe I did that earlier so anyway we're gonna do it all again so I am going to take my primer this is our first base primer this is available on my website the website is limelight by Alcone dot com slash Kelly L and it's a capital K and a capital L. So we're going to shake this up really good and then we're going to take this and let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about this stuff first really quickly. Um, usually the more you use the better not with this. Uh, so if you're if you're going to order this um, first base primer it says to use two or three sprays use two or three sprays. If you spray too much of it it doesn't, your makeup doesn't go on well at all. So we're just gonna do two sprays, I've learned. I'm gonna go down and then across, just like a T. So down, across. That's it, that's all it takes. So that's our primer, so we're gonna put that to the side, let that dry. Hope you guys had a great day today. Hope you're having a great start to 2017. Lots of exciting things are gonna happen in 2017. I just know it, okay. So um, we're gonna let that dry for just a minute. I talked about earlier um, in my video that I did for one, um, <laughs> I talked about that when we, uh, so many of us have gotten into these makeup sponges, which they're really good, and this is a limelight product, this is called a Blenderful, and this really, really is a great, great sponge for blending makeup. However, I have very dry skin, and very irritable skin, especially in the cold weather. So when I'm using this to apply my makeup and I'm just wiping away, I am wiping away all of my moisture, just wiping it away. And so I get my makeup on and my face would feel really tight. So um, I found if I just use this just to dab my foundation on, which I'm gonna show you, and then I use a brush to blend it. I don't have that tight, dry feeling after. So this is our Shinto One. And this is for um, kind of, uh, it, it, if you decide to get the foundation, there's a quiz that you can take. And it decides if you have pink undertones or gold undertones, yellow undertones. Um, I actually have yellow undertones, so I use this Shinto. So this is our, and it is a wax foundation 
and I talked about this earlier. Um, I, at first, when I heard it was a wax foundation, I was like, ooh, wax. I don't think I want that on my skin. But you do want wax foundation on your skin because it does not settle into your pores. It will not clog your pores. So actually, after um, long-term use of this, two or three weeks of using this foundation, your skin begins to look better and feel better because you no longer have those clogged pores that other makeup will settle into and cause issues. So we're gonna take our Shinto One and we're just gonna take our Blenderful and we're just gonna dip in there just like that, get a little bit on the Blenderful, and I am gonna take it and dab it. I am not wiping. I am dabbing and I'm just gonna dab it on all over my face I'm gonna dip some more just like that and just kind of dab it all over and I have a lot of imperfections ladies I am 46 years old and imperfections come with age I can remember when I was younger I had all this beautiful flawless skin without makeup on so what this is going to do it's going to cover all those flaws <laughs> so we're just going to dab it on so I've got it dabbed all over I'm going to put this to the side we're going to use that again in just a minute but I am going to take I wish y'all could see all my brushes I look like a surgeon with all my tools here um, we're going to take this kabuki brush and this brush is just a really fluffy soft brush with short bristles so it, the tighter shorter bristles make it a little um, a little tighter brush so we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna blend all of that foundation that we just dabbed all over our face so we're just gonna blend that in just blend it and I can't see who all has joined me I will I would like to thank anybody that's joined me. Um, I appreciate y'all supporting me and coming to hear about Limelight. Limelight makeup is professional makeup. It's not professional grade. It is actual professional makeup used by professional makeup artists. And that's why the products are so good. Alcone has been in business for over 50 years in the professional makeup industry. And um, lots of professional makeup artists use limelight on their celebrity clients so this makeup does give an awesome flawless finish so there's the foundation we just blended it with our brush and now we're going to take our limelight concealer and this is my new friend i i didn't use concealer before and i used to think that concealer was just to hide blemishes Really, it isn't. It's actually, you can use it to lighten up under your eyes, brighten under your eyes, and that's what I like it for. Um, so this is our Limelight Concealer. It is waterproof, so if you if you sweat, um, if you cry, if you have any, any liquid going on under your eyes, this is not going to run off. So um, this is our number one concealer, and I don't mean number one like bestseller this is our our concealers are sold zero to I think four or five and so this is the number one so I am going to use my ring finger and you can use a brush but I don't want to use a brush I find a little bit better coverage by using my ring finger so again we talked about this is wax so wax when it gets cool it kind of hardens up a little bit gets a little stiff so um, right now it's not cool in my house at all it's very warm so I don't know where y'all are I know it's January but in Houston Texas it's 70 degrees but anyway I'm still gonna use my ring finger I'm going to just swirl around in there get it on my ring finger right there if you can see all that on there I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put right underneath my eye down and across and this is just gonna highlight underneath my eye and just create a brightening under my eye. And I'm just gonna kind of, I'm not gonna rub it in, I'm just gonna rub it on. So there's a total difference between rubbing in and rubbing on. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other eye and just take it across and down and almost kind of a triangle area. 
gonna do a little bit more. Just go across there. We're just gonna cover up any possible dark circle area under our eye. We're gonna go down our nose, across. We're also gonna do right here on our forehead. And all of these areas that we're lightening here, it's areas that, that light is going to hit. So we want any place where the light is gonna hit on our face, we want it to be bright. We want it to be brighter. Brighten it up a little. Right here on our chin. Okay. So now we have that. So there's our concealer. I don't know if it's too bright in here, too dark in here. I don't know if y'all can see anything or not. Um, is the light okay? Can y'all see? Is it good? Give me a thumbs up if, if the lighting is okay. I worked on this lighting. Um, if, in, okay, good deal. Okay, so I don't like a dewy finish. Um, I like a matte finish. So I know some people like a dewy finish. I don't particularly like a dewy finish. So, um, but I actually need to almost miss a step. Y'all, this is my second time today to do this. So we're gonna take our little blender full again here and we're gonna get it damp um, because we're gonna blend in this concealer that we just put on. So we're gonna get the end of it damp, not wet, just damp. And then we're gonna take it and just kind of dab it out just a little so it's not so pronounced. Our little triangles underneath our eyes are not so pronounced. And our little area up here is not so pronounced. And just kind of blend that in just a tad. So I'll go back to the dewy finish in just a minute. Yeah, we don't wanna look like we just drew triangles under our eyes with concealer. So you know what, see this little red spot on the end of my nose? I am going to put a little bit of concealer on that and kind of it disappear okay so okay so we've got our our foundation and our concealer on and um, I'm gonna go back to talking about the dewy finish I don't like a dewy finish and a dewy finish just means it's kind of shiny I personally don't like that but that's just my opinion some people do so since I don't want a dewy finish I moved my camera I'm gonna take my limelight compact here, which this compact is um, customizable. So right now I have my blush, my pressed powder, and my bronzer. But you can put whatever you want to in here. These things pop out. These little um, pies, they, they pop out. So you could put all blush, you could put your foundation, you can do whatever you want to. This comes empty and you customize what you want in it. So I'm going to take my big powder brush, which is this right here, just a big fluffy powder brush. And I'm going to dip it in my Perfect Press Powder and get lots of, lots of powder on the bottom, on the end of that brush. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna go across everywhere where we put that makeup. Everywhere we, where we put our concealer, where we put our foundation, because I don't want a dewy finish. I don't like to look oily. So I'm going to just cover that all up. And this is colorless powder. So all you're doing is just covering what you just did. But you're not adding any color. So there you go. There's that matte. So then we're going to go in and we are going to contour right here. I have kind of Kind of fat cheeks and I, I really want my cheekbones to be a little bit more pronounced so I'm gonna contour right here and when you do your contour when you bring it in you do your fish face I have to because I my cheeks are too fat I can't see so you you bring it in but you don't want to go past like if you take the corner of your eye and draw down you don't want to go past the corner of your eye. So you don't want to bring that contour all the way in past your smile lines. You want it to be about out here. So it's going to come out. So I'm going to show you. We're going to do that. I like a dark contour. I'm going to put my glasses on just for a second and see who all's in here. Hey guys, thanks y'all for coming in. You're welcome, Joni. Too bad I already did it once today and thought I was videoing and I wasn't. So anyway, I don't mind doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush, and I think this is called a tapered highlight brush or something, I don't know. 
So I'm going to take this brush and um, I like a dark contour. So I'm going to take this. This is our, this is our Lottie palette. And I've talked about this before. This is a full face palette. It's not necessarily meant to be a full face palette, but our products are so versatile. It can be a full face palette. So I'm going to take my Lottie palette and I'm going to use this color right here to contour with. And this is called Mills. So I'm gonna take it, and this is very, very pigmented. Another thing about um, Limelight products, it's 50% pigmentation. So just a little bit goes a long way. So we're gonna take our Mills, and we're gonna have that much on our brush. I'm gonna blow that off, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to do my fish face, y'all, sorry. And I'm going to do my contour line. Can y'all see that? I'm going to do a little bit darker. So right now, I want a very defined line right there. That's what I'm looking for right now. So there's that very defined line, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to dip in, blow it off because it is very, very pigmented. See, there's that brush, and I think you can probably see that on the end of it. It's very, very pigmented. So we're going to blow that off. We're going to do our fish face again. Okay, so there's, there's our contouring started, okay? So now we're going to take our bronzer, which is this right here. Here's the bronzer. I'm going to take this, and we're actually going to use the bronzer to blend what we just did. So we're going to dip in the bronzer, and then we're going to take it, and we're just going to blend that out. So it's gonna soften that line. We don't want that harsh line when we're done. We don't wanna look like we've been punched. And I went a little too far, but you can always correct it. You can always take your brush and just kinda of correct it right there. So there's that side. And we're actually gonna take our bronzer and we're gonna come all the way up. I have a pretty large forehead so I don't really want a whole lot of attention brought to my forehead. So we're just gonna shade that a little. So we've got that side done and we're gonna take this side and we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm just blending that in with the bronzer because we use that dark mills to get that, that definition there. So we're blending it with the bronzer to soften that harsh line. So there's that, and there's that side. Now I use a large eyeshadow brush, which is this one right here. It's just kind of a large eyeshadow brush. And that's what I use to um, contour my nose because I find if I use a brush this large, it's gonna go all over my nose and I don't, I don't want it all over my nose, I just want it on the side. So I'm going to use, again, our bronzer right here. I'm gonna dip that eyeshadow brush in there and I'm gonna go straight down the side of my nose. I do this because I have a relatively wide nose. Not everybody has to do this. But I'm going to show you the difference once I get this done. And you can look at one side and the other. See the difference? See how it's pulled that the, top, the bridge of my nose in a little bit? So I think that's pretty cool. It's makeup tricks. Really, really nifty makeup tricks. So we're going to do the other side just like that. And go, go, all the, go ahead and go up into your eye, up to your eyebrow, so that you don't have that 
line stopping right here where you contoured. And then I actually do under my nose too. Okay, so there's that. So now we are going to highlight. And my hands are sweaty, it's hot in here. So um, let me see who's in here really quick. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming in. Okay, so now we're gonna take our same, I use this brush for a whole bunch of stuff. And seriously, if y'all saw all my brushes, you'd be like, why don't you use more? Because I have, I don't know, probably 100 brushes. I'm not exaggerating, a bunch. But I just really like this brush. So we're gonna use this same brush again, same brush. We're gonna wipe all the bronzer off of it. I keep a towel in my lap when I'm doing my makeup because I always am using the same brushes over and over, even though, seriously, I have a ton. Um, so we're gonna wipe all of that bronzer off that brush, and then we are going to go back into our Lottie palette that we keep talking about. We're gonna go back into this one right here, and this is called Crystal. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna dip our brush back into it, we are literally gonna take kind of the apples right here, and we're just gonna just take that highlight right there and just go right above our cheekbone, just right above. And you don't, you're not gonna wipe this on, you're just, you're just kind of, just kind of dusting it on, okay? And that's, um, before I started learning more about makeup, that was one of the problems that, what I would do, I would, I would wipe makeup on and you don't, you don't really want to wipe makeup on because you're, if you apply it too hard, you're going to rub it off. You're, there's just all kinds of issues that come with wiping it on. So you're just, you're just literally dusting it. You're just going to dust right through there. And so we're going to do the other side. Same way, we're going to dip it in the crystal and we're going to just dust it right there on the apples of our cheeks and then right up the cheekbone, just right above the cheekbone. And some people have very defined cheekbones. I was not blessed with that, so we are gonna create them. So we've got that going. Okay, so now we're gonna take it and we're gonna do right up here on the forehead where we already talked about. We put that concealer because we want a little bit of bright spot there. We want the light to catch that. So we're gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna take my same eyeshadow brush I used a while ago, my same eyeshadow brush I contoured with. I told you I reuse brushes all the time. I'm gonna wipe that off really good so we don't have any contour left on that. And we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into the crystal and we're gonna go right down our nose, right down the bridge of our nose, right in between where we put the contour. And right here on our chin. Okay. So there's that. So now we're going to do our eyes. Um, I like to put just a little bit of foundation or concealer, whichever, on my eyelids because it serves kind of as a primer. Um, again, you're going to use your ring finger here. Just going to dab in there and just, just dab a little on there. Just dab, just a little. And that just serves as a good foundation for your eyeshadow to stick to. So just a little. So then we're gonna go back into our Lottie palette. We keep talking about this Lottie palette. This thing is amazing. Um, and what it's named after, uh, uh, Lottie is a very famous makeup artist. And so she actually chose these colors, put this palette together, so, um, Professional makeup artists are very familiar with who Lottie is. She is uh, well known in the makeup industry. So that's what this Lottie palette is. So we are going to use this color right here, which is called Lullaby. And we're gonna take our eyeshadow brush, and these brushes probably have names, y'all, but as you well know, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> so, but my makeup looks like I'm one. So anyway, so we've got this pretty, and it's kind of a stiff brush. Uh, I do like the stiffer brushes for um, for what we're getting ready to do. So we've got this makeup brush right here. We're gonna wipe it off because again, I've told you I reuse my brushes. So we're going to take our 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray. 
We're gonna shake it up. This 10 years younger finishing spray has a lot of uses. So we're gonna shake it up and we're just gonna take it and spray it right there on that brush. Just to dampen that brush just a little. Pretty cool trick. So now we're going to dip it right into the lullaby, which again is this one right here. We're gonna dip it into the lullaby and we're gonna put it all across our lid. And the reason I did that with the 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray is because we want it to be a little bit more of a metallic look for what we're doing. And when you dampen it, and you can use water to dampen it, it just doesn't do the same effect as the 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray. But we want it to be more of a metallic, and so um, it's softer if you just use it without dampening it. So we're just gonna go all on that lid and in the crease. So just take that right there in the crease. And there's a trick I learned, uh, and I think I did this on one of my other videos. If you have hooded eyes and you really want to do the smoky eye look with the makeup in the crease, with the eyeshadow in the crease, you can do it and just go right above. Do it with your eyes open and just go right above and you'll still have that same look. So, okay. So there's that. And again, this is our Lottie palette and we're using Lullaby. We can do the same thing on the other eye. Just put it right there on the lid, all the way across and in the crease. And these eyeshadows, y'all, I've used lots and lots of eyeshadow. And so often eyeshadow goes on splotchy and uneven and it doesn't blend and it's like, oh my gosh. But this eyeshadow blends very, very well and it doesn't go on splotchy at all. It goes on very smooth. It's almost like a cream eyeshadow, but it's not, it's powder. Okay, so we have both of our eyelids done. I'm gonna go a little bit more on this side, on the right above the crease. And when we do our eyes, the thing that we have to remember is they are sisters, not twins. That's one of my favorite things because I try to get everything identical and exactly and, and it's never gonna be. So, okay, so we have that. So now we're gonna take this brush, I don't know what this is called. Let's see, if I don't think it has a name. But um, this little brush right here, it's just a small, short bristle brush, a little stiff, small, short bristle brush. And I use that one for the for right under my eyebrow. Now, not all the way up against, but just right under, right above the crease, right under. We're gonna go back into the crystal, we're gonna dip right there, and we're gonna go right under the eyebrow. And I'm gonna have to go over here to my mirror, y'all right under the eyebrow, right above that crease with the crystal. See? I do the same thing on the other side. Ooh, I've got 14 faces. Okay, we're gonna go right under the eyebrow, right above the crease. Just like that. And this is actually really a relatively soft um, eye makeup, like eye look. Uh, it's not real dramatic. You can do a whole lot more dramatic. But uh, this is, I played in makeup New Year's Eve and I had a bunch of people that wanted to know what I did to create the look I got. And this, that was it. I mean, it was just real simple. I'm gonna take this brush right here, which is just a thick eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to blend, it has nothing on it, I'm going to blend what I just did and just soften that up just a little because I don't want those harsh lines. So I'm just going to soften that up just a tad. So there you go. So now we're going to do the wings. And the wings are always scary for me because I am not good at winged eyeliner. I'm just learning how to do it. And then here I have people that want me to do a tutorial on winged eyeliner. 
Really? <laughs> I guess we're gonna try. Okay, so my second time today to do this. So let's hope it turns out okay. First, let's line our lips. So I'm gonna take our, sorry, I'm digging in my little makeup bag here. I'm gonna take our perfect lip liner, which is this right here, and I'm not sure which one this is. I think it's like two or three. So this is our perfect lip liner, and I'm going to line my lips. I'm gonna do it in my mirror over here. And I actually line as well as fill in. Well, see, I kind of fill that in a little bit. So there's our lip liner. So we'll go back to lips in a minute, but I did want to go ahead and line them. Okay. So, y'all, okay, wish me luck. Here we go. Here's our perfect eyeliner pen. This is the Alcone, Limelight by Alcone Perfect Eyeliner Pen. And this is the tip. This tip is amazing. It, um, I've had this for over, I guess about a month, and I've used it a lot. And it hasn't frayed, it hasn't gotten, I mean, it, it's still just as sharp as it was the day I got it. So, here we go, and I am gonna have to get in my makeup mirror over here because I can't see in this, in the phone. So, um, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way so I can get to it. All my little tools here, because I'm through with all my brushes. Most of them. So anyway, do y'all have any questions while I get ready to do the wings, because the wings are scary? I'm gonna move my makeup mirror up to me. Okay, here we go. All right. Take your eyeliner pen. And the trick to this really, truly, is to have a really, really good eyeliner. If you're gonna do wings, you need to have a really good eyeliner. So we're just gonna take our eye. And just draw a line just like that. That's how we're starting, okay? See that line? That's how we're starting. Then we're gonna take it across. And then we're just gonna fill that in. Wings are so tricky. There you go, there's one eye. I think my wing needs to be a little longer out there. So. You can always adjust it. So there's that. I did get a little bit of a smudge on the bottom. I'm gonna wipe that off. So there you go. So now we're gonna do the other eye. And again, this one's harder for me to do. We're gonna do the other eye. We're gonna pull that out. Just draw that line right out there to the side, just like that. And then take it. My dogs are going crazy. And just draw. Oh, this one's gonna be a little bit thicker. And just draw across and fill it in. Ooh, I don't know about this one, y'all. Need to adjust it a little. It's okay. I think we went a little long on that one. But it's okay, you can fix it. So there's the beginning. And then we just take the bottom 
and connect it. Here your bottom lid. You just want to connect that wing at the bottom. And do the same thing on this side. And then for me, I actually, that looks a little, well, it'll look better in a minute. I actually like it smoky. So I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush, just a little, just a plain old eyeshadow brush with a long handle, a plain old eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to smoke that out a little bit because I do like it smoky. Just the bottom. I'm doing the bottom. We're not going to smoke the top. We're just going to smoke the bottom. And if you make any mistakes, just keep your Q-tips handy. So then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to put just a little bit of eyeliner back on after I smoked it. Because I do like a little bit darker definition, but I like the smoke too. So we're going to go back in and put just a really fine line. So there you go. And you can always go back in and fill in more. Again, wings are just, they're kind of new for me, so. My eyes are not the perfect shape for winged eyeliner. Let me put on my glasses for just a minute. Thank you. Okay, so we have our face. So now, um, and see like right here, I like for this to connect. So I wanna make sure that's connected. When you open your eyes really big, I like for that to be connected. So there we go, okay. So now we're going to put our perfect, our Limelight Perfect Mascara on. And I was not blessed with beautiful eyelashes. I don't know if y'all were. Uh, I wish I was, but I was not. So I have these straight eyelashes that just stick straight out, stick straight. So I found this new trick, got this on Amazon, y'all. It is a heated eyelash curler, and some of you may already have one. It's a heated eyelash curler. And um, it just looks like this, kind of funky looking. And this heats up, but it doesn't get so hot that you can't touch it. I mean, it, it, it gets hot, but it doesn't get so hot that it's dangerous close to your eye because you are putting this right against your eye. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna, and I'm gonna try to do this over in this mirror, but I'm gonna try to keep close to the phone too so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put my eyelash on it and just hold it up against my eye, up against my eyelid. And hold it for as long as you can. Okay, and as soon as you get that eyelash curled, you want to put your mascara on pretty quick because it's just like if you're curling your hair you use hairspray pretty quick to set that curl. So we're using our perfect mascara, Limelight Mascara. And this mascara, y'all, it is fiber, but it doesn't have, I'm gonna show you in just a second, it doesn't have loose fibers. And those loose fibers can actually get into your eye and cause a lot of issue. So these, this does not have loose fibers. Okay. This is what this mascara looks like. Looks like mascara. Just looks like plain old mascara. But it, it is fiber, so it does build. So let's put another coat on. Ooh, got a big old clump on the end of the mascara. Okay, so we're going to put another coat on. So there's our dramatic winged eyeliner. 
with our eyelashes, put the bottom coat on, and see the difference? I don't know if it's dark enough, if it's too dark for y'all to see the difference in my eyes with my mascara on and without. It's a pretty big difference. So we're gonna curl this one the same way we did that one. And we're going to use our mascara as soon as we are through curling. Oops, got it on my eyelid almost every time. And we're almost through. I'm not going to build my eyelashes quite as much as I normally do for the sake of this video. Well, this eyelash is being a poop. Roasting, y'all. It is so hot in here. There it goes. Okay. Let's finish that one. Let's get where we smudged. I'm going to turn my eyelash curler off, take the battery out because it lasts longer. So where did we smudge? We smudged right at the edge of that where we had it in the crease. So we're going to take our little brush here and we're just going to fix that. And it's gone. I noticed a little bit of a mistake right there. A little smudge. That's the good thing about makeup. You see, no, no smudges or imperfections, you can fix them. Okay, so we're gonna do our lipstick and we're done. This is pretty close to what I did New Year's Eve and what everybody wanted to see. This is our Limelight Macaroon Enduring Lip Color. This is it right here. Macaroon Enduring Lip Color, and this is called Enduring Lip Color because it stays on. So I have a tendency to scratch my nose. Okay. So let me put my glasses on and see if anybody has any questions. Hey guys, thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming in and seeing the Limelight products. They are amazing products. Um, I, I absolutely love it. Um, I've said before, I feel like a professional makeup artist is doing my makeup now, and it's just me. It's just me doing it. So, um, but I've learned so many tricks and so, so much cool stuff that it actually looks like a professional makeup artist is doing my makeup. So, um, thank you, Carol. So, this is our Limelight. Uh, I love, I love this the top of this. This is our Limelight Lip Gloss and this is called Love. So we're going to put that right over our lipstick. And there it is. Now I'm going to take my 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray that we got our brush wet with and we're going to spray it on our face. And actually you can put this on before you put your mascara on. Um, I just always do it at the very last. So we're going to take it, and this squirter is kind of stiff, so I have to like really concentrate to squirt this. We're going to do the same T, one down, one across. And that's it. And this 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray, I don't know if you guys see that, makes makeup stay in place up to 16 hours. Really cool stuff. So now my face looks kind of misty, but after it dries, it will look amazing. 
Okay, there you go. Oh no! I don't know why your sound isn't working. Can anybody else hear me? Can y'all hear me? I'm sorry your sound isn't working, Billy. Okay, so it's finished. There's your, your contour and your highlight. Okay, good. Your um, smoky winged eyeshadow with your smoky, I mean with your winged eyeliner. Uh, pretty dramatic eye makeup. Um, so, do y'all have any questions? All of the products that I used, of course, are available on my website. And my website is limelightbyalcone.com slash capital K-E-L-L-I capital L. So, um, I'm sorry, Billy. I'm sorry. I don't know why your sound isn't working. All right, guys. Thank you. I I am absolutely um I'm absolutely loving loving the makeup, uh, and I I typically don't talk about the business because I forget I forget that it's even a business to be honest with you because it is so much fun. Um, it is a really fun business too. Uh, you know, there's nothing like having um, a job that you don't even feel like is a job. You completely forget that it's even a business. But the business aspect of it is a very, very small, small, small investment. Um, when I say small, it's $169 for the kit. And you get a lot of skincare. You get all of the makeup products that you saw me use, except the Lottie. This did not come in the kit. This was separate. But... Um, all the makeup products that you saw me use and you not only get that but you get awesome tutorials on how to do all of this um, I, I wouldn't have known how to do all this without watching uh, the awesome people in this company so uh, anyway if you're interested in learning more about the business let me know I can connect you with the opportunity group there is no obligation to get into that group that what that will allow you to do is see videos of um, the opportunity that that is the the good part about this opportunity. Limelight itself is only a little over a year old. Alcone is over 50 years old, but Limelight itself is only a little over a year old and there are only around 5,000 beauty guides nationwide. So there is huge growth potential in this and the product is amazing. Um, so anyway, thank you all for joining me. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you need these products and they're not expensive. You will spend less on this than you will spend on makeup at Walmart, and it's got a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.